Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Harley and I are just about to head out for a walk. I just need to pop my shoes on. Um, but sorry, I would put you here, but I don't know if that's gonna be a... <coughs> that's a weird angle. Yeah, I'll just have to hold you on, put my shoes on. Um, sorry about the weird angles. <laughs> I'm trying to reach my shoes. Yeah, sorry about me being so absent from this channel. Um, I don't think I've posted in like, two weeks as I'm filming this, but by the time this goes up, it's probably more than that. I'm really sorry, I did not actually mean for that to happen, but I've been so like consistent over on my other channel and I've been getting videos up and I've been really happy with the content that I've been filming, um, that I've just sort of abandoned this channel, like unintentionally, but like I've just been using my two days off a week to film um, videos and edit them. So on one day off, I've just been like filming maybe like a food challenge and then like editing that as a goal. So there's been nothing to vlog because that's what my day consists of. And then the following day, again, the same. I'll like film another video and then edit that. So there has been nothing to vlog, but um, I thought I would dedicate today, which is Saturday, I have a Saturday off. So I thought, I don't normally get that. So I'm actually gonna vlog. I don't even know if I'll do anything exciting. Probably not because it's me. Um, I thought, I've only filmed one video like for my main channel this week, but if I have a chance today, I'll try and like film one whilst vlog like still vlogging. But if not, like I'm not gonna stress about it. So I'm just trying to find a better balance between like both channels and trying to stay consistent on both of them. Um, but anyways, yeah, happy Saturday. I don't know what day it is whilst you're watching this, but I hope you're having a good day. Here's my little Harley boo. We're gonna go for a walk. And it actually looks really cold outside. I was told by the my weather app on my phone that it was gonna be a nice day and it's not really what I'm seeing when I look outside, it looks miserable. But it's still early, so it could change. He is so cute, he honestly just melts my heart. Right, go! <laughs> look at him. Oh, he's adorable. I actually cannot see anything in this camera. It's like so backlit, so I don't even know what I look like, but um, yeah, we went to the cinema last night. I went with mum, Laura and Michael and we went to see the new um, Doctor Strange movie. I think it's like, what was it called? It was something along the lines of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And it was such a good film, like I really enjoyed it. I said to Michael, I think it's like one of my favorite Marvel movies. Like it was so good. So if you haven't seen it and you're thinking about going to see it, I would definitely, say go. So we're just back from my walk and it was actually a lot warmer than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if it was just because I was walking but now I am sweating. Um, but anyways I wanted to show you a few bits and pieces that I bought for my desk. I finally found some things that I like. The main thing being a lamp which I'm so happy with. I love it. Look at this. It still looks I was gonna say quite bare, but I don't want it to be cluttered. So I feel like this is like a good amount of things. But yeah, this lamp, I absolutely love. I thought it'd be nice. Well, actually, <laughs> I was gonna take credit for it, but it was Michael's idea. Um, he thought that it would look nice if I got a gold lamp because then it would sort of like complement the bottom of my uh, chair there, um, which I think looks really, really nice. So that was a brilliant idea of his. So this was from Argos and I think it was, around about 25 pounds, which was actually really good because I did see um, one that looked pretty similar to that in Next and I think it was 50 pounds or something like that. So I got this for like half the price of that and it just looks just as good as it. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Then I got this photo frame from Asda. It was literally one pound 75, I think, which is a bargain. I'm gonna uh, get a photo developed of like Harley, I think. I think that would look cute. And then I got this really nice plant, which goes so nicely um, with the frame. It was also from Asda, and I think it was like seven or eight pounds. It's just like a fake plant, but I love hanging plants. So I think that looks really nice in the corner of my desk. And then this is what the little pot looks like. It's basically the design that I absolutely love. So I think it looks really lovely. I'm so happy with it. Harley's exhausted after his walk. He's already just like conked out on the floor. Um, and then I got a weekly planner, which I've been looking for for ages. I couldn't seem to find one. I um, looked online because I thought that would be the best place. Like I thought I would find one easily, but there was like 
not that many. And then the ones that I did find were nothing special. They were just really boring and very overpriced for what they were. Um, so then the other day I went to the range and I managed to find this beautiful one, which is exactly what I was looking for. I love how cute it is. It's got like all these pastel um, little dots. And then it just says weekly planner. It comes with a little whiteboard pen and some magnets. And then it just has the days of the week there. And I thought it was absolutely perfect. And the best part was, I think it was around six pounds or something like that, which is a bargain. Because the ones I was looking at online, they were extortionate. Like, honestly, I don't even know why I couldn't find a weekly planner. I thought that would be something that was everywhere. But even like shops I went into, nowhere had them. The only place I find them was the range. So I'm very happy with this. So let me know where you think I should put it because I'm not sure if it would look nicer like here above the main part of the desk or here like to the side of the desk or should I? I don't know. I think it might look better directly above the desk. Oh, I'm bad with these sorts of things and then maybe like a nice piece of wall out there but then because that's the main wall do I want maybe a wall out there I don't really know so let me know your guys thoughts and help me out please because <laughs> I'm rubbish at those sort of things and then the other thing I want to show you was I got a new toy basket for all of Harley's toys funnily enough um I got this from pets at home I'd been looking for another one just because he has so many toys and we actually spend a lot of our time in this room which you guys have probably noticed um so he's got a toy box in the living room which is just it was overflowing so I knew I needed another one and I thought it would be nice to have one in here um so I really like that Again, I couldn't find a toy box that I really liked and the ones that I did were very expensive. So then I got this one in Pets Home. I actually can't remember how much it was, but it was like a reasonable price. That's why I got it. Um, and I think it looks really cute. I really like that. But anyways, I'm now gonna try and, uh, not film, edit some more of a video that I filmed earlier on in the week. Um, I know I said I'm not dedicating today to editing and filming which I'm not but it's just this camera needs to charge anyway so whilst I'm waiting for it to charge I might as well try and do some editing but something weird has happened with um iMovie as always. I basically imported all the footage started editing it and then half the footage has disappeared but then when I try and like import the footage again it's saying like all oh, the footage is already there and I need to take it out of my project but I can't see it there so I'm so confused so basically I think I'm gonna have to start editing it again like just delete everything from iMovie and then just import everything like freshly and just re-edit everything which is a bit annoying because I was like halfway through editing the video but I can't be bothered faffing around trying to figure out how to do it so sometimes that's the easiest way like it seems like it's gonna be longer but it's actually not because you spend hours trying to like fix something that you don't even know how to fix so it's kind of just easier to start again <laughs> sometimes. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you to you guys um, for all of the comments that you left on my last video, um, like my last vlog where I booked myself a holiday because so many of you were helpful in the comments and a lot of you actually like DM me on Instagram. It was so nice that you like took the time out of your day to message me on Instagram to um, let me know like stuff that would help me about going on holiday on my own and to give me like tips and advice and yeah loads of you left uh, really um, like detailed comments and it was just so nice I just wanted to thank you so much um, but anyways I'm so excited for my holiday so I literally feel like um, a kid again because I'm like counting down the days but I have started buying like some uh, pieces of clothing that I am planning on taking with me on holiday so I thought I would do you guys like a little haul um, I haven't bought too much yet and some of these things actually aren't like specifically like holiday clothes but I thought I could take them with me um, but if not like I'll wear them here in the UK but I just thought I would show you guys so literally everything apart from one thing is um, from Matalan so I'll start off with the things that aren't like particularly made for like holiday um, but I just thought they were really cute and could be used for when you go on holiday. Um, so the first thing is this little knitted vest top, which I think is so cute. I have been eyeing this up for ages. I really like it, it's so adorable. Um, so yeah, I don't think it will be like too thick for going on holiday, that's why I'm thinking of taking it with me. Like I know it's knitted, but like it's a little vest top. So I just think it's really, really cute. 
Look at the little flowers all over it. How adorable is that? So this was £14, which is quite expensive for a vest top, but like it's knitted and it's adorable and it's just like, oh, it's just so sweet. I love it. And then I got the matching cardigan. I was originally just going to get the cardigan um, because I thought like when I'm away, if it gets colder, it'll be good to have something just to like throw on over um, whatever I'm wearing just to you know, keep me warm if it gets a bit chilly. Um, so yeah, it's the exact same. It's got the cute little floral deta detailing on it. And oh, it's just so nice. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I thought, you know, if I don't end up taking it on holiday, I will definitely wear it um, here anyways, because it's just so cute. So that was 18 pounds. So yeah, I was originally just gonna get the cardigan, but then I saw this and I was just like, they look so nice together, like they're matching. I think that would be really cute. Now moving on to actual like holiday clothes. Um, so I got these shorts and they're actually like, I'm surprised because I didn't think I would buy anything in this color. But as soon as I saw them, like I love them. I think it's the style of them as well. I really hate short shorts. So these ones are like the perfect length for me. And I just really like the style of them. Um, and when I tried them on, they are so comfy. So they're like a really nice soft material. They're just longer than like the average shorts that you get. But they look really nice when they're on. And yeah, I just love the color. As I said, I didn't think I like this was a color I would go for, but as soon as I saw the color of these, I was like, yes, I love them. Because they do come in black as well, but um, no, love these. So these were £10, they've got pockets, and I just thought it's something comfy and easy to wear when you're on holiday. Um, then I got another pair of shorts. These ones are a bit like more lighter and just like your typical holiday shorts. Um, look how cute these are. Loved this colour as soon as I saw it and it's got like loads of little flowers all over it. Just thought these were really cute. As you can tell I don't know any other descriptive words other than cute when I'm describing clothes. That's why like I was literally gonna like sit down and do a haul for you guys over on my other channel but I was like I'll probably just say cute, cute, cute. It's really cute. I like this because it's cute. Um, These were £12.50. They're really nice and stretchy, really light so if it's like really hot when I'm there then this will be perfect. I love this material. Like absolutely love this material for when you go abroad because it is just so light. I love getting um, like trousers in this material as well and skirts because they're just so flowy and you can actually breathe and um, you just don't get too hot. It's just a perfect material. And then the last thing that I got from Matalan, this has to be my favorite thing. I love this. So as you guys might know, I love like boho styled clothes, especially when I'm abroad. Like. Marrakesh was one of my favorite places to go because I absolutely loved like the style there and just like that Moroccan style I absolutely love that so as soon as I saw this little What do you call this a play suit if it's like shorts do you still call it a play suit? I don't even know I don't know anything about fashion. I think it's called a play suit. Yeah, I just thought it looked very like Moroccan style. I love it so much again. It's that really nice light material. It's gonna keep me nice and cool um, when I'm away on holiday. Love it. Look at the design of that. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Love the pattern. Just everything about it I absolutely love. Um, so that was £10. Can't go wrong with that. And then I have one more thing to show you guys. This was actually from Primark. I went to Primark the other day for a little look, specifically for holiday clothes. And I actually only came out with one thing, which I was surprised about. Um, but like, I'll go back again in a couple of weeks time and hopefully they have more stuff. Um, to be honest, I don't really want to go overboard and buy like a load of clothes because it's like what, seven, eight days I think I'm away for. You don't really need that many outfits do you? So I don't want to go overboard but I couldn't resist this because I love the colour of this and I'm loving like these play suits. I just think it's something really easy to throw on because like as much as I love shorts like these then I've got to like buy a top and like actually put an outfit together whereas these you just throw them on and that is your outfit and I love that um so yeah absolutely love the color of this I was gonna get another one that was like similar to these shorts but then I thought 
yeah, I kind of just thought like I don't need that many outfits and I don't need that many play suits. So I thought I'll get this one because it's very different to this one. And yeah, I didn't have anything in this color. So I really, really like that. It's beautiful. Look at it. Love that. Um, so how much was that? That was, I was gonna say a size nine. <laughs> That was nine pounds. Um, I did get my play suits in a size eight because like everything else I got in a 10. Um, but play suits, like I tried this one on and the size 10 was way too big for me. I think it's literally because I have no chest. So if you are planning on buying play suits and you have no boobs, size down. <laughs> that's what I would recommend because um, they just fitted better that way. So that's like my little holiday clothes haul. I'm so excited. I mean, it's still like ages away, but I'm really looking forward to it. I need to get some lunch now because I'm hungry. I've worked up an appetite, an appetite after my walking and my uh, editing. So I've just come to Starbucks because I thought I would treat myself as soon as it's my day off. And to be honest, there was nothing in the house that I really wanted. So yeah, here we are. I'm excited. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you today? Hi, can I have a tomato and mozzarella panini, please? Anything else for you? Yeah, can I have a chocolate chunk cookie? And a chocolate chunk cookie. Anything else for you? And a strawberries and cream frappuccino, please. And strawberries and cream frappuccino, yeah? Yes, please. Does it mean you want? Yes, that'd be great, thanks. Anything else for you? That's it, thank you. Just make your way up to the window. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. I'm just going to take yeah, a look at that That'd be great. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. I just thought, why not? Like, that's what I like to do on my day off. Like, just treat myself to some good food. My car is honestly such a mess. I mean, I swear I say that every time and then I never do anything about it. But yeah, here is my panini. I got, oh, it's so hot. I got a tomato and mozzarella panini. That is so hot, oh my god. The main reason I wanted to come here was for this, the strawberries and cream frappuccino. I was just really craving this today. I think it's because it's like, actually turned out to be quite a nice day weather-wise. So whenever it's slightly sunny, I always want one of these. When I went to the window to pay at the drive-thru, I like pulled up so far away from the window, I was literally hanging out, trying to reach the card machine. Look at this guys, oh it's just super yummy. I always go for the same drink whenever I go to Starbucks because I actually hate coffee and tea, but I surprisingly love going to Costa and Starbucks so much, um, mainly for the food, but also I love their strawberries and cream frappuccino. So if anyone has any drinks that they would recommend for someone that doesn't like coffee or tea. Like there's gotta be other drinks that they have for non-coffee and tea lovers that are good. So if you have any good recommendations, let me know. I'm just very fussy when it comes to drinks. Like food, I'm not fussy at all. Drinks, I am. Oh, I'm so excited for this cookie. I didn't know whether to go for like the triple chocolate cookie or just like the chocolate chunk one. So I went for the chocolate chunk because I just remembered how like gooey and soft this is, which oh, is literally breaking away right now. I think I've had a good day off. Just because of this Starbucks alone. <laughs> After I finish my Starbucks, I'm actually going to go visit my parents because I don't actually get to see my dad or my brother that often because normally my two days off are through the week um, because I normally work the weekends like I work every Sunday but I occasionally get a Saturday off like today um and the only days that my brother and dad aren't working is Saturday and Sunday so I never really see them so I thought seeing as I'm off today it would be nice to go and see them I saw Laura and mum at the cinema last night but obviously you don't talk much at the cinema only before and after the film um so it'd be nice to have a catch up with them as well and yeah I'm just a family person so I love going to see my family so we've just pulled up outside my mum and dad's and Harley is so excited, aren't you? 
His little tail was wagging every time I stopped the car. He's like, where are we going? Where are we? So I'm at my mum's now and mum is painting the fence oh, again. We just started. <laughs> I'll be here for months. <laughs> oh god. Oh. And um, mum got these new things. They're like, wait, are they new in or are you just hadn't know, seen dude, them? I don't normally eat cookies. It's normally just cookies I get, but. They're Mr. Kipling trifle bake wows and they looked a bit weird, like really bright. I don't know what that is. I think it's custard. It smells incredible. Custard? Yeah. I think it's just icing, is it not? Oh, is it? Is it? I, like I just wanted to try it out. Trifle? Tell me when you taste oh, it smells it. incredible. Smell that. Oh, yeah, that's smell. oh it is that. custard, actually. Come on, it just probably went is custard. Do you know that? They're nice. They're, They're really nice. nice, but I don't know what, what it is. Oh, I think your face is like... No, I was trying to figure out. Duck. Well, mind you, I don't have my glasses on, but I'll try. Is it custard? I don't know. It smells like custard, yeah. I hear. Mm. Just imagine Pastry cases with a layer of if clam and raspberry jam. With vanilla flavour sponge with a custard filling. Oh, topping, and they're really good. Super strong ingredients. I don't really like custard. Mum, they're amazing. Oh, they really smell lovely, Laura. Did you have one? Mmm. Oh. And Lola brought me out two little dairy milks. I've got custard in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to have one, Mum? Yeah, I'll have Later. one instead. Oh, these are really good. Mm. So I never ended up staying very long at my family's just because I think Harley might be like unwell or I just don't know He's just not acting like his usual self. You know when you can just tell that they're like acting out of character Like he's not wanting to play or anything and I'm just back from taking him for another walk and Normally like Harley loves walks and he just he never wants to stop walking like he just loves going for long walks um but I literally didn't take him very far because he didn't want to move. So I was just like, okay, we'll just head back now. And um, like we've just got in the house now and he's just run to bed. Um, which normally the first thing he would do would be run for his toy. But he doesn't want to play or anything. So I'm feeling a bit worried about him. But I'm just going to let him sleep and rest. Um, and hopefully he's feeling better tomorrow. So it's now actually the following evening. I didn't vlog anymore yesterday just because I was really worried about Harley and I just wanted to like be keeping an eye on him and giving him lots of hugs and just making sure he was okay. Um, he's actually doing a lot better today which is so good. Um, I mean he was sick but um, like I feel like he just needed to be sick and it seems like ever since he was sick he's like got his energy back and seems to be more himself so maybe I don't know what it was but it seems like he just needed to be sick and um, like get whatever it was out of his system. So yeah, he's doing a lot better now, which is a massive like weight off my shoulders because I was so worried about him. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna end this vlog here because I know it's quite a long one. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. Sorry again, it's been so long since I have vlogged. I hope you've all had an amazing day and I will see you again very, very soon for another vlog. Bye.